welcome to this course. I think this is a, a very hot topic, as we say in the industry, um, in clinical research right now. And something that I know in my career as a CRA has brought a lot of confusion and some challenges, as well as some real benefits, I think, to source document verification if you're able to work around some of the challenges that can arise with electronic medical records. So I'm really looking forward to sharing this information with you today. Again, my name is Karen Gilbert. I work directly as a clinical trainer for Barnett. And I've been in the industry about 16 years. During that time, I've worked as a CRA in both devices and drug development, as well as a study manager. And I also directed a site. I was a site manager, actually, and directed a multi-specialty site for five years. So I hope that that kind of level of broad experience will, will enable me to provide you with some different perspectives and good information today. Here's our course content for today. It's always good to start off with definitions, to make sure that we all have the same base of knowledge. We're going to talk about definitions of source documents. What do source documents have to have? What characteristics do they need? How are the requirements for electronic source documents different, maybe, than paper-based documents? Some strategies for applying all the definitions and concepts to research sites, medical records, in an electronic format. And then how do we do contingency planning and risk assessment for the use of electronic source or electronic medical records at site? We're going to talk about sponsor activities, especially in relation to how you go about monitoring and making sure that you can get direct access to the records you need for monitoring. 